Hi, my name is Nicole Young and I am a carnivore. I'm a fan of red meat. I cook with ground beef in particular on a regular basis, mainly because it's easy, it adapts to a lot of different flavors, it cooks quickly for the most part, but from time to time I do put red meat on the back burner and when I do, I like to swap out a lot of my ground beef recipes for my ground shrimp recipe. I could go on and on about the virtues of ground shrimp, but three main reasons why I like working with it. Number one, it's DIY friendly. You can create your own ground shrimp at home. You don't need any special tools. You just need either a mini chopper, blender, or a food processor. Whatever you have with a high speed blade in there, you can use that to create your own ground shrimp. Reason number two is that it's very easy to work with. You can manipulate it very easily, just like ground beef. So as long as you grind it to the right consistency, you don't need to add any binder, no egg, no flour, anything like that to form your ground shrimp into whatever shape you want. Reason number three, shrimp is lean protein. It does not have a lot of fat, it's high in protein, and of course it's delicious, so that's an added bonus. But just like using lean ground beef, but even leaner, you could create healthy, delicious dishes with ground shrimp. Okay, so on to the recipe. I'm gonna make for you a shrimp fried rice burger. One of the things I love about this dish is that the whole meal is in the burger itself. You have your healthy grains, you have some vegetables, you also have the lean protein from the shrimp. Then of course you're gonna have some delicious added flavor, that really tasty Asian kick is also gonna be inside the burger, so you really cannot go wrong, unless of course you're allergic to shellfish. Add a pound of frozen shrimp to a large bowl, cover with cold water, and set aside to defrost. Now, if you prefer to get your hands on some fresh shrimp that's never been frozen, and you have the time and the energy to peel it, to vein it, pull off the tails, then you know what? Email me, send me your address, I will get you your crown, your sash and everything that you need to crown you the king or queen of shrimp. But the rest of us, we can use the frozen stuff. It's just fine. While the shrimp's defrosting, let's work on the fried rice. So in my pan, I have a little bit of olive oil and I just added some onions, some scallions, and a couple slices of hot green chilies. Just gonna saute that for a few minutes. I wanna see the onions get translucent. I want to see the scallions get a little sweated. You know, and I also want to see the slices of green pepper looking like they're softening up a little bit. So just about five minutes. That's all you really need to saute this around. Now, a popular ingredient in shrimp fried rice is green peas. So now I'm gonna add some green peas into my mixture with the onions, scallions, and chilies and I'm gonna stir that around. I just use frozen peas, but let me give you a tip. Look for the petite peas. You wanna use the smallest frozen peas you can find because they're gonna go into the patty whole, and if you use larger peas, it might be a little awkward. You know what I mean? Once you go to take a bite in, peas falling out, you don't want that. You want them to blend in nicely to the patty, so the smaller the peas, the better. Give that a stir, just about two to three more minutes because you want to make sure that the peas, they, they started off frozen, so you want them to be fully defrosted. Now because I want to keep this dish on the healthier side, as opposed to using day old white rice, which is typically what they use in fried rice recipes, I'm actually using a mixture of brown rice and quinoa. Now here's a hack. Instead of waiting 45 minutes or however long it takes to cook brown rice from scratch, and then also, you know, quinoa cooks up pretty quickly, but Instead of doing that, this is actually rice that I warmed up in the microwave. That's right, came out of the microwave, honey. No shame in that. It only took two minutes also. When you do buy that kind of rice, if you choose to go that route, just look at the ingredients on the packaging. Make sure there's no artificial additives or preservatives or coloring. And if there isn't any, then you're perfectly fine to use that. I'm just gonna add that in here. And I am going to give that a stir. The rice is already cooked, so I'm just doing this to kind of marry the flavors of the onion and the scallion and the peas. They've already been in the pan for a while together. I want the rice to adapt that same vibe. Saute the mixture for about another minute, season with some salt and a squeeze of fresh lemon. And this part's done. So now I'm just going to set this aside, let it cool to room temperature, and we're moving on. Marinade time. Whisk together some gluten-free tamari or soy sauce, some sesame oil, some apple cider vinegar, fresh lemon juice, five spice powder, dried parsley, and dried nori flakes. Make sure everything's well whisked and blended. And we're gonna set that sauce aside. 
By now, the shrimp should be defrosted. Add shrimp to your food processor and pulse five times. The consistency should be minced, but still a little chunky. Now add the ground shrimp to a bowl, add in the rice mixture and the marinade, and mix everything well with a spoon. Once it's combined, you're gonna separate the mixture into four sections, and these will be your patties. So you wanna form each section into patties, like this. And as I was saying before, ground shrimp sticks to itself. As long as you grind it to the right consistency where it's almost a paste, it'll stick to itself. You don't need to add flour, you don't need to add eggs, anything else as a binder. But of course, because this has the rice and the quinoa in it, which are starches, it's gonna help a little bit, but you don't need that to make it stick together. So once you have a patty, you're gonna put that down into your pan. I have a little bit of olive oil in there, maybe about half a teaspoon really, just to kind of wake the pan back up again. You wanna keep your flame on a low heat because you want the shrimp to cook all the way through. The patties are rather thick. You want the shrimp to cook all the way through. You also don't wanna burn the ends of this. So you're just gonna set it down into your pan, let it cook through. I let mine cook through about six minutes per side. A trick that you could also do is you could cover this pan if you wanted to, which will kind of steam it and make sure that the insides cook all the way through and it'll cook them through faster. But then you're gonna get a little bit more moisture coming out of the shrimp. And then once you uncover it, you're gonna have to let that cook out so that you get a little bit of a golden brown on the bottom. But I digress. Leave it in the pan. You don't have to cover it. You can cook it through about five to six minutes on each side. You'll see it start to cook through and turn pink around the ends as well as inside. And we're gonna flip this at about six minutes and let it cook through on the other side. It might sound like you're overcooking it. You wouldn't cook shrimp on its own for this long, but because this is a burger and we have other ingredients in there, we want everything to cook through and bind and have a nice chewy consistency like a burger, we're gonna cook it all the way through. And when your burger's done, it's gonna look something like this. Now I like to serve mine over a bed of kale. I like to top it with some shredded carrot because carrot is another ingredient in shrimp fried rice, but we didn't put the carrot inside the burger. We're putting it on top of the burger as a topping. Then I'm gonna to top this with a little bit of a peanut sesame aioli. A little bit of that on top. You could do a little bit more shredded carrot if you wanted to. And that's it, a delicious shrimp fried rice burger. You can have healthy, delicious food. You can keep it lean. You can keep it clean. And it can taste familiar and delicious. Case in point. And your shrimp fried rice burger is done. And follow me on Instagram at Nicole Young Style, and I'll show you how to make that peanut sesame aioli. It is super easy.